former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon was arraigned Thursday after he and three others were charged with fraud by Manhattan prosecutors Thursday in connection with the, We Build the Wall, fundraising scheme, with the Department of Justice claiming that hundreds of thousands of donors were defrauded as a result, with President Trump distancing himself from Bannon shortly after the charges were announced. As alleged, the defendants defrauded hundreds of thousands of donors, capitalizing on their interest in funding a border wall to raise millions of dollars, under the false pretense that all of that money would be spent on construction, said acting U.S. Attorney Alison Strauss in a statement. While repeatedly assuring donors that Brian Colfidge, the founder and public face of We Build the Wall, would not be paid a cent, the defendants secretly schemed to pass hundreds of thousands of dollars to Colfidge, which he used to fund his lavish lifestyle. 11. That's how many bank accounts owned by Bannon and the other three men, along with nonprofits connected to them, that the DOJ wants to drain funds from as part of punishment for the charges. Donald Trump has run the most corrupt administration in American history, is it really any surprise that yet another one of the grifters he surrounded himself with and placed in the highest levels of government was indicted? Asked Kate Bedingfield, Joe Biden's chief spokeswoman, in a Thursday morning press conference in response to the indictment. Bannon, Colfidge, Badolato and Shea were arrested before the charges were announced, and Bannon was reportedly taken into custody from a $28 million, mega yacht, off the Connecticut coast. Bannon, a co-founder of the hard-right Breitbart News, was a divisive figure in President Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. He also served on the board of the now-shuttered data firm Cambridge Analytica, which harvested Facebook user data for political campaigns and is largely credited with helping Trump's successful online advertising strategy. In February 2019, Bannon and Colfidge were among some of Trump's most ardent supporters to visit Texan border town McAllen to plot a way to build the wall, after Congress refused to allocate the funds. Colfidge posted on Instagram Wednesday that We Build the Wall deleted their GoFundMe account due to censorship. With his arrest and indictment, Bannon joined a long list of former Trump associates imprisoned or charged on criminal counts. This is the second big indictment to come from Strauss, who was installed in an acting capacity as the Southern District of New York's lead attorney after her predecessor, Jeffrey Berman, was dramatically ousted in June by Attorney General Bill Barr. Strauss brought charges against Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's alleged recruiter for his sex ring of underage girls, in July, about two weeks after she replaced Berman.